Okay, hello everyone. It's Mimi's Worms again, and today I wanted to talk to you about a product that we use to help with uh, pests in the worm bins, and it's called Dimatious Earth. We buy the food grade um, because it's it's uh, okay to you can actually eat it um, if you wanted to. Some people do to help with parasites. You can feed it to your pets and, and animals. Um, we actually feed it to our dogs to help with parasites uh, for that, but I have not ventured out to eat it myself. But if you are growing plants and you're using your castings in your garden, it's not going to hurt uh, your family. So, uh, But one of the main things that we use it for um, is for black soldier fly larvae. Um, or manure uh, flies. Those two things are what really tends to multiply here um, because we use a lot of manures and we use a lot of um, moist uh, organic waste. Uh, so we tend to uh, have a good many of those at times that I don't like to have as many of them in there. Although they will not hurt your worm bin, just so you know that. But if you get an overpopulation of them, then you, it will heat up your bed and your worms will not eat as well um, because where there's a lot of heat, the worms aren't gonna go and they compete for food. So you don't wanna get an overpopulation. So if you find yourself with more or if you don't want any, what you can do. Now, if you buy the Harris brand, it comes with this little uh, gadget here and I really like this because you can really put a fine powder um, on your your bin and um, you can actually put that in your feed you could put it in your cardboard and then just mix it into your worm bin now this this works on uh, I believe if I'm not mistaken soft bellied uh, insects so that would be like your um, your larvae, but I've, I've also read up on it that it will help uh, the, the if you have uh, the types of bugs, say beetles, they have a hard shell on them. From my understanding, it helps to break that shell up and then it gets into the bug or whatever and um, somehow cuts it or whatever. Um, it is made from fossilized uh, 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 shells, I have to think of what it's called, aquatic, aquatic shells, um, and you want to make sure it's the food grade, because they do make a dimatious earth that you use in swimming pools, but you don't want to use that, um, but the first thing you want to do is your plan of action should always be to try to prevent rather than trying to fix. So um, this really works good for if you have bins that are outside, especially if they're on the ground. Um, if you have trouble with ants, you could actually form a barrier around your bin um, or you know any other kind of insect or whatever that baby's trying to get into the bin. Um, you can use that for a barrier, but then once you have them in your bin, you're gonna need to put it uh, on, in your bin. Now, it works best if it stays dry, so um, you might have to let the bin dry out a little bit on the top and then put a, a layer of it, you know, a, th a fine mist of it on there. I do know some people mix it in with their feeds and stuff like that. You could obviously do that as well. Um, but it's really good um, in your garden because if you have what's called root maggots, this is what I was reading up on, on their website, um, being like a cabbage fly, especially if you have, bras, bras, I can't say this word y'all, it's brassaca, brassacas plants, I think that's like your broccoli and things like that. Um, you know, the maggots feed on the roots and the stems of the plants, and so having the, the DE in your garden will help with that so that, you know, and if you're using castings, then you would already have your defense already in the castings. Um, it's also good to use on your potted plants, especially like, you know, we talk about a lot about uh, 
the gnats and the, um, especially the black soldier fly larvae. Um, so you want to, um, you can use this for those things. Um, it's also uh, a really good natural insecticide. So it really helps uh, very effectively against many garden pests. Um, so you want to break up that life cycle of the flies in your garden or the cabbage flies that lay clusters of eggs. Um, so by using this, that would help with those things too. Now, if you wanted to make a spray to, um, to spray on your plants, you could use two cups of water to a half a cup of the dimaceous earth and just take a spray bottle and spray your plants with that. Wouldn't hurt your plants at all. And um, now, uh, you want to be careful when you're um, using this because it also can harm your beneficial bugs, like your ladybugs. So if you're putting this on flowers and you've got ladybugs landing on your flowers, then you could kill your ladybugs. Um, so be very cautious in that. Um, so one of the things I want to read this to you, it says Dimaceous Earth works by damaging the exoskeleton of insects. It is highly effective against various pets, including ants, mites, bed bugs, fleas, and even parasites. So that is why we use it in our worm bins when we need to. Now we only use it if we start to get an infestation um, of the, the soldier flies. As long as we have just a few, it's no big deal because they're actually helping break down that material and all. And, and honestly, you know, our chickens love them. So, you know, I'll pick them out and uh, take them home and feed them to the chickens too. So, but it's just a really good product to have in your arsenal of your worm farm just in case you need it. Or like I said, if you've got bins that are on the ground, we haven't had any trouble with ants here. And nine times out of 10, honestly, if you have trouble with ants, your bin's probably too dry because ants don't wanna be in a moist environment. They, they'll only come to your bins if it's too dry. So it's better, to, again, to be preventive and just keeping your, uh, your bins with the correct moisture so that you don't have that happen to start with. So there you have it on how to use the Dimaceous Earth either in your worm bin or in your gardens. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down at the bottom. And I would love to see some of y'all's worm bins or either some of the vegetables that you've grown using worm castings. Um, so if you guys could send me some pictures in the comments, I would love that. And if you have not liked and subscribed to our videos, we would love to invite you to do that. And then we would really love for you to share our videos. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would love to see our videos. We try to be very educational in them. And um, we hope that you're enjoying them. And if you are, just give us that thumbs up so we, we know to keep making these videos. Um, in our description, we'll have different things, links to things um, that you can uh, go either to our website, which is mimisworms.com, uh, or it may link you to Amazon. Now, that would not cost you any more money. We would get a little small uh, payout on that. Um, so, it would just help us keep our channels going, our channel going, and um, if you want to follow us over on Instagram or Facebook, we're also on those channels as well. Till our next video, you guys have a wonderful day.